Welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima and in today's tutorial we are going to make these beautiful and amazing scented tin candles. Candle making is one of my favorite hobbies and I love to make scented candles during festive season so I can enjoy them all around the winter. So friends do watch the complete tutorial to make this beautiful and amazing scented tin candles yourself and do subscribe to Creative Art so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form. Now let's check out all the ingredients I used to make these beautiful and amazing scented candles. First and the most important we are going to need some wax. So there are different types of wax and to make scented candles you can either use soya wax, you can either use paraffin wax or you can either use a mixture of paraffin wax with different other waxes like iran wax or bee wax. So this will give a strengthening to your candle. Next we are going to need a thick base container for melting wax. So this is the container I like to use for melting wax. As candle making is one of my hobbies so I have got all different types of containers to melt wax. I would advise you to use a container which has a thick base so that will allow the wax to melt from all the sides and also hold up the heat for a longer time for the melted wax. Next are the beautiful containers. So this time I have selected these beautiful pastel color tin containers. So each one costed me like 31 or 32 rupees. This ones are 31 rupees. This one are 32 or maybe 35 rupees. But this is how they differ in size. So these are available in different colors according to the season or according to your preference. You can select color. Red one is for Christmas. Golden are for New Year. Pink for Valentine. You can use these colors all around the year. Next year we have got some beautiful and amazing fragrances from Little Birdie. My personal favorite is a tea rose. Next is vanilla and here I have also got lavender. The lavender is a very smoothing scent. It also helps you to calm down and relax. So I also like to make lavender candles. Next is a pack of wig. You get 10 pieces and a big bowl of wig thread. I like to make my own wigs or else there are also ready-made available wigs that you can directly place in the tin can. And remaining everything that you're seeing here is for decoration. So first and always preferable thing that I like to use in decorating candles are glitters. Next are some crystals. You can also use pearls, some seashell if you have them. These sweet smelling crispy orange slices. Beautiful, beautiful dry flower that I also use in resin. Some golden stones that I also use in resin. Few small white dry flowers few green which are completely dry but they are still green. I love this about it. If you want you can also make spice candle just referring my previous video and finally a tweezer to place all the decoratives on the top of candle. Now let's start the tutorial friends. First we'll start by making some wig. So cut out few pieces of wig thread using a scissor. Hold the wig in this way and then insert this thread all through right till the end and then using a plier or a pincher like this press it so that the wig is fixed okay. and this is how a wig is ready do the same for all of them Now using some glue place all the wigs right in the center. And for these tin you can also place two wigs. Now place a wig holder in each container. Now we will let the glue get dry completely till that start preparing for your wax and once the glue is completely dry let's start melting these wax granules. It took some time but the glue is completely dry now and I have also melted 
some wax this is how it looks it got the color from the yellow honey wax i have added in some paraffin wax granule and now it's time to add our favorite candle fragrance in it add at least 10 ml so that you get a very nice fragrance i'm gently pouring it in container Put in my next batch. Make sure that you're not filling up the container completely. We don't want a completely filled container. Okay, that's it. This much is enough. I'm going to keep one stick here. Now we'll let the wax cool down completely. So now when the candles are starting to get cooled down, so this is the right state to insert dry pieces of orange slices or spice or anything you want that has to go deep inside the jar like these two. And once they come to this state, they start setting the wax. So here what you can do is insert. A Make sure that this is up but a little bit standing in there. Make sure that you're making any decoration pieces only till the top of can. So these were few things which has to go deep deep in. Now we'll let all the wax get set completely till it gets to this a little firm state. Now it's been an hour, wax is completely cooled down and this is how the top layer of each wax look there is a little bit of unevenness which is also called as sink where the candle goes deep like it creates this kind of sink mark and that is why we're going to pour one more layer of wax so now friends i'm going to quickly heat up some wax mix a little bit of this beautiful tea rose fragrance in it and then here i have everything ready for decoration from dry flowers a few seashells pearls few leaves crystals and everything that I need to decorate these beautiful candles I have already kept them ready so what we are going to do is first we are going to pour in these two containers because we have already completed decorating them and then one by one we are going to pour in these three containers and decorate them each at a time okay now here I have got some melted wax first let's pour in these containers So these two are ready, we'll keep them aside. Now let's start by this one. Now let's start decorating these candles using few beautiful dry flowers, these green leaves, crystals, seashells, crispy orange pieces, glitters and few pearls. Now this is how beautiful beautiful this candle looks and then the same way we are going to decorate more these two candles. Now pour some melted wax again in the same container. Now, this is how beautiful, beautiful this candle looks. 
And now finally friends, this is how beautiful and amazing our scented tin candles look. Each piece is so so beautiful. Just look at all the dry flowers, crystals we have added. The composition part was really really simple and it came out so beautiful. The entire process of making scented candles is so relaxing that you should definitely definitely give it a try. So friends, do make these beautiful scented tin candles for yourself and enjoy them all around the winter just like I love to do and do subscribe to Creative Art to mode your creativity to the next level. Happy holidays and wishing you all a very happy new year. Thank you for watching.